Yeah, so we just finished. That one's been sprayed at 6%. This one's been sprayed with nine. We're gonna leave it for a day or two. All right, guys, John from Solo Boss. This is the roof. We're gonna run a little test on. We're not cleaning the whole roof. The business just moved out, and as you can see, just moved. So we're just gonna run a little test. I doubt you're gonna clean that with 6%, but what we might do is put 6% on this back roof, and then we might spray this one with 9% heavy soap. We'll let it sit, we'll come back in a few days, and then we'll hit it again. Um, and then we'll film that part as well. So this will be part one of the hot roof. So let's have a crack. here that's been hit with six it's pretty much nothing it's got a little bit discolored but nothing's happening like nine percent so these are terracotta tiles they're a lot harder to clean i do not like walking on them at all um because they can be very brittle um and come back and see the difference. I don't think we're gonna get much in that because history tells me 6% doesn't do anything to these roofs. You need heavy soap and 9%. Where you can see the lichen on this roof, it's already started to turn snow white. So it's already doing more work than the 6%. But we're, this is a test for you guys. I already know the 9% is gonna work. Uh, and we'll leave it as that. As you can see, the 6% on the left hand side, 9% on the right hand side, it's already starting. That's pretty bad. That's half clean. All the lichen has gone snow white. So you can tell the big difference. And 6% is probably a big difference when you, you look at the back roof and it's still black. So there's a little bit of difference there. With the amount of chemical you would waste spraying 6% on that a couple of times would not be worth the trouble. So. so I'm just in the car here. I was just editing that video and I'd just like to mention like that roof there, that's years and years of damage of growth. That, that roof probably has never been cleaned in at least 20 years so you could just imagine the damage that that lichen and algae has done to those tiles so people are going to comment and say oh nine percent that's really harsh but they don't realize the damage that organic growth is does to tiles unless you clean a lot of robes you don't fully understand how much damage organic growth does like that that stuff can rip color bond paint off roofs and embed itself into iron like I, i've seen it crack um concrete tiles in half because there's so much growth in it and the lichen's gone through the tile and cracked the tile and made it so brittle um so I just thought I'd mention that right on the end um, because a, bit, a lot of people see that and they say, oh, you're just you're just killing everything. You're going to burn the roof, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, those terracotta tiles, when they're clean and they're looked after right, they, they can last years and years on a roof. They're, they're really nice tiles. I just, I really don't like to walk on them because they're really brittle and um, they can crack really easy without even applying chemicals you can walk on those roofs and just sheerly crack a lot of tiles so i love to soft wash those ones i've done roofs worse than that but um stay tuned to the i'll film another one in a couple of days and we'll really have a look at that roof so so that was helpful like and subscribe for me 
um, help me boost up my channel a little bit. I'm, all I'm doing is trying to give you guys help. Um, and then my son, he's nine and he can go back through my videos when he gets a bit older and he can learn and study. Um, so it's a little bit of a dictionary and learning encyclopedia for him. So when he gets older and he chooses that he wants to go down that path and run dad's business, then he can jump on here and watch me start to finish from my journey. So that's really why I'm making these videos is for him to study them as he develops his brain and gets years and years on him that if he wants to do washing, then he's actually got a lot of knowledge by the time he gets to 15 or 16 and he wants to start jumping on the truck full time. You're like, he comes out with me now and he knows how to rinse a house, but I don't want him to apply chemicals at that age, but he knows how to rinse a house. So thanks everybody. I hope this is going to help you, but um, there's definitely a second part coming to this one and we're going to film it in a couple of days. Thanks.